Miracle Temple AOH is picking up the pieces after being vandalized twice in the same week, forcing a congregation to not meet up for a while. Jacoby Rivers has more on the cleanup efforts. And it, it, it's a blessing. Pastor Gary Johnson spent his Saturday morning working to restore his church after being vandalized twice, leaving bullets in the windows, an attempted fire in the bathroom, damaged equipment, and even food on the floors and chairs. Pastor Johnson says he received a phone call from First United Methodist Church in Long Beach after they heard what happened on the news, leaving him in a state of gratitude. They uh, called, called us up and asked us to, uh, how can it be of assistance to the church? And uh, we told them about the work they here and they volunteered to come out and provide the assistance to help us uh, restore God's house. I was, I was happy to know uh, that someone cared about the church um, and care about uh, this community. Um, have a heart to uh, be able you know, to help uh, in a time of need. A security company also reached out and donated a new alert system and motion sensor monitors that can be found inside of the church. Pastor Johnson says he tried his best to remain positive days after being vandalized. He now says he's feeling blessed after receiving help and is encouraging his congregation to do the same. It's just a blessing to know uh, that uh, God is modeling on us uh, and to be able to come out here today and knowing that we have defeated the devil uh, and we're victorious. Uh, the devil's plan did not detour us and stop us from where we need to be. And we're going to get back to where we were. I tell them to be encouraged. Uh, keep the faith. Don't give up uh, because God is always on our side. In Biloxi, Jacoby Rivers, WLOX News Now.